Medares burial delayed. Tension is growing outside the Medares Memorial Garden in St. Catherine where mourners have been waiting to bury their loved ones. Workers walk off the job this morning over a protracted view. Mourners say they are willing to enter the remains of their loved ones by themselves. Meanwhile, vehicles have lined the road leading to the cemetery. Workers are claiming that they were promised an increase of $300 per day but the management has cut the figure to $125. They currently receive $2,500 per day. According to COVID guidelines, burials must be completed by 4 pm. More details will be provided soon. Fully vaccinated seniors to get 10k each. As of July 15, fully vaccinated persons who are 60 and over will be eligible to apply for a $10,000 grant being distributed by the government. The grant, according to Finance Minister Dr. Nigel Clark, is an incentive for those who saw it fit to be a part of the active fight against the novel coronavirus. This is not a social program. This is an intensive to be vaccinated. This pandemic does not end in Jamaica until a large majority of persons in the over 60 population is vaccinated. It is in the public interest, therefore, that this yet group of the population is fully vaccinated, he said. The money which will be distributed under the conditional cash transfer for the vaccinated as part of the Care Jamaica program will only be distributed once the health ministry required can confirm that persons have received their jobs. Each fully vaccinated person will get $10,000, so in a single household, there can even be 7 people getting $10,000 said Clark. Based on the ministry records, 7,000 out of the 350,000 persons in the over 60 age have been fully vaccinated. We are hoping by the time the program opens, we will have about 20,000 or 30,000 persons fully vaccinated and able to collect their incentive, Clark added. He said he is partially interested in making the court a focus as mostly the elderly a fallen victim to COVID and the government aim is to have the country return to some normality. The Big C pandemic has had a large impact on persons yet 60 and over. Figures from the Ministry of Health show that for Jamaica, 75% of those who have passed away from the Big C are from the age group 60 and over, he said. The restrictions don't go until this vulnerable population is no longer vulnerable. Fully vaccinated the elderly will be able to log onto the government we care platform to register for the grants and the money will be transferred to a bank account or a remittance outlet. To access the website will be free of cost and once the money has been approved they will be communicated with by a SMS message clear detail. Detectives probing the slapping away of a man in Salt Spring in St. James. Detectives of the criminal investigation branch are probing attack in Montego Bay in St. James which claimed the life of a steel worker. The Costa of Angelian in Salt Spring got dashed away at about 5 o'clock Tuesday afternoon. It was reported that Mr. Da Costa was at home when he got wet up and later pronounced by men carrying rifles and handguns. He was among five persons who get dashed away in Jamaica on Tuesday. Two of those incidents occurred in Clarendon. There have been 588 people been slapping away in Jamaica since the start of the year. MP want more camera for Central Kingston. The Member of Parliament for Central Kingston, Donovan Williams, want more cameras installed in the constituency to help the police catch person who is committing violence. Residents say they have been living in fear as a gang feud continue to create a vogue. The gun violence continued early Wednesday morning when armed men entered the Raytown fishing village and opened fire. According to the police corporate communication unit, three men and a woman were wounded during the attack, which is the latest in the string of drive-by shooting in the division over the past year. I think the police can take control of the situation. They have the capacity to. They need some support, yes, from the police, high command and the Ministry of National Security, said Williams. So what we need to do now is get more boats on the ground. The introduction of the quick response team is helping and I have been seeing them a lot. But to increase the video surveillance at some of these major intersections will eventually curtail the drive-bys. Williams was referring to the National Closed Circuit Television Surveillance Program dubbed Jamaica Eye. If we increase the surveillance capacity of the force, perpetrator will realize that they can no longer do a drive-by and get away because they are on camera. 
to some extent it will act as a deterrent and I think we need more of that in the areas. We have a couple but more is needed to be implemented, Williams said. Residents have pleaded for a zone of special operation to be declared in the area. Williams said it is an indication that the people are genuinely fed up with the violence. If you go if you go in and sit down and reason with some of these young men who are labeled as gangsters, you would realize that a lot of them want the place to be nice. They want peace, you know, he said. The majority of them want a peaceful community. They want to play football. They want to go to them party. I look for them like a girlfriend. I know a man who want to live for go work, but I'm free to go. William said he has had several meetings with residents along with the peace management initiative and the police and that his office has been extending support to the relatives of the victims. We try our best to reach out to everyone. It is a sad state of affairs. You do a faction in the community who are bent on evil and we have to face that reality. I want them to understand that it is families that they leave grieving and mourning and they are families too. The good book say love your neighbor as yourself. Respect your neighbors as you respect yourself. If we do this, we will have a better community, he stated. Placing more cameras in Jamaica or in the communities is a great idea, but me have to disagree with them. We are in which them say this are going to help for decrease crime. No, it will not. The youth them deal with them crime brawling. If you realize these days, the youth them not even wear masks. A beer face badness to man them depend. So this now going to help for prevent no crime from happening. But it are going to be easier for the police them catch whoever commit those crimes yeah but if you if them place a camera in every single community we can guarantee and tell us eh, we not going to see a decrease in the crime rate because me said before the youth them a deal with for them thing brawling them no wear masks these days them no care if them run wanted because them know so when them do what them for do and if they make it out lucky if they make it out alive and them got the jailhouse, them know say the same lavish lifestyle them, them live like where they used to live a road. Meaning say them get them NEC. Meaning say them live basically the same life where they used to live out their only thing. Them now see the street. Them now have the freedom as how them would have it out a road. So as I said before, this is a great idea. But I don't want them to say it's going to help for decrease crime. Because I don't think so. I might talk that still. My opinion that. Leave you know in the comment section. Let me know. What do you think? Like this video. Share this video. Until the next time. You know what I think. I'm out.